Jeff Lightman talking here at the state track meet with the ESAC boys 4x800 relay. We're going to start off here today with Max Bloom who started things off. Max, how did you feel like you ran today? Uh, you know, it was a pretty tough start now. Everyone wanted to get a pretty fast first lap, so I was trying to stick with them, but I just didn't have, have it in me, so they were running 54, 55 first laps. It was pretty tough, so. What were you hoping for? What was kind of your goal and your strategy? I was hoping they'd be running 58, 59. I, can, I mean, that's what I'm used to. And then I was just going to hold on to someone's hip and just ride them all the way. But, I mean, I've never ran a 155, 156 before like those guys were, so I'm happy, I guess, with my performance. What, what did you end up using as a strategy then being what you came in with kind of didn't play out for you? Uh, you know, I just didn't want to get last. <laughs> I don't know, I was just kind of trying to hold on to some guys, but I got passed quite a bit. But that's all right. It was, it's pretty fun being down here, and I'm enjoying it. What's this experience been like? What have you soaked in so far? Uh, you know, just getting to hang out with these guys, just, you know, messing around, having fun. That's what it's all about. Well, Max, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations on getting down here. Thank you. Let's move over now to Connor Roth, and Connor, congratulations <laughs> making it down here. How did you feel like you ran today? Uh, not as good as I could because it's kind of spread out when I was running. I'm kind of running by myself most of the time. How'd you end up motivating and pushing yourself then? Just catch the guy in front of me and don't get past. Did you feel like you were able to do yeah, that? Yeah, I passed him. Okay. Where did, where did you feel like you were at your strongest in the race today? Probably the first lap. First lap? What was the time you were hoping for today? Probably two flat, 159 or something like that. Any idea what you ran personally? No, not yet. Not yet? You happy though with it? No. No? Should have ran faster. Should have ran faster. One of your slower times as a group this year? Yeah. Do you think it was just the surroundings, or what do you think it was today? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> we should have ran faster. Okay. What are you soaking in out of this atmosphere, and what are you going to take away from today? Um, probably have to practice a lot harder to get better in this race. Okay. That's a good thing to take back with you. Thanks for joining us, yep. Connor. Congratulations. Let's move over now to Cody. Cody, first two guys a little disappointed today. You disappointed as well? Uh, I don't know. I felt like I did all right, like normal, like I usually do. But, uh, yeah, I felt pretty good. How, how did things start for you today? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> kind of good, I guess. I had somebody to push me, two people at least, but uh, they passed me in the end. What was your strategy then with those two guys? What were you hoping to run? Uh, I don't know, probably down to 203 or something, but I don't know, I get kind of getting tightened up the last 200 or something. Where did you feel good at, though, out on the, on the course? I don't know, the first, like, 200. First 200. Yeah. Last 200 a little tough for you? Yeah, I'm getting tired. <laughs> was it just the tempo and the pace that everybody set today? Yeah, everybody was going fast. I just I don't know, I couldn't keep up. Okay. How did you prepare yourself for today once you got down here this morning? Uh, we just stand around and then sat down for about 30 minutes and then stretch like for an hour. Okay. Well, congratulations on getting down. Hope to see you back down in the future. Thank you. Let's move over now to Nick Snyder. Nick, you ran the anchor leg today. Uh, what was it like out there? Uh, well, first of all, it's a lot different environment than your typical track meet. I mean, every corner you're around, there's always people screaming in your face, giving you motivation and stuff. And uh, the competition is definitely a lot better than what you usually see. Did you feel like you ran okay today? Well, I tried to gauge it off the guy in front of me when Cody gave me the baton. I just tried to stay with him as best as I could. I held my ground, but I was trying to catch up to him in the last 200, but I just couldn't do it. It looked like you were running pretty hard there those last 200. How much did you have left? Uh, I mean, once you get around that last curve, you're really dying, and you're just hanging on to whatever you have left. I mean, it's probably my favorite part of the race because it's just all guts. And that's where I feel like I do the best, but whatever. A little breezy today, but not bad. Did the wind have any impact on you today? Uh, about the first and second curve, I could feel it just on the back straightaway, the first lap. And I mean, you just, that's something you just try to get out of your head and just try to look at the guy in front of you and catch up with him as best you can. What are you going to do the rest of the day down here today? Oh, I'm really just going to look forward to enjoying the rest of the meet. We got Connor running in two days or so. Hope we'll support him well and he'll do well in the 800. Well, Nick, thanks very much for joining us. Congratulations. Thanks.